Hey guys, I'm back. It's been a while, hasn't it? But uh, I haven't had anything really good to put on video. So that's why I haven't made a video. Uh, anyways, before I start off this knife overview, um, do any of you guys have a guilty pleasure? Well, I have one. It's called Thrasher Metal from the 80s. 80s and 90s. Check this out. Metallica, Slayer, Megadeth, Anthrax. All playing together, same night, same venue. Now, if you know anything about Metallica and Megadeth, they haven't played together since, I think, I don't know, it's been at least 15 years. So, pretty big deal. <clears throat> and all four of them together, I think that's never happened before, I'm pretty sure. <clears throat> so, it's going to be an awesome show, and I'm not going to get to go to it, because it's in California, I live in Texas, and just can't afford it. So, that's a real bummer. I know, you guys are going to make fun of me, because I still like cheesy metal, but everybody's got a guilty pleasure. There's my background there. Guns and ammo. Check out the date on that. 1983. I'll show y'all something funny from that. But first, let's get down to the nitty gritty. Benchmade Knife Company. In a black box. That's a first for me. 915 Triage. 915 Triage. Triage. No. <clears throat> Yeah, black box. I wasn't expecting that, but uh, and I actually wanted to get the orange one, but it's not out yet. Some of you may have seen this already. Uh, it just came out. It's kind of like a rescue knife, or like a uh, you know, like a first responders knife. But uh, this is the black version that's out already. I like how Benchmade puts their knives in these bags. I wish. Can you imagine if Spider Code did that? It'd be like a red bag with a spider logo on there. I think that'd be bad A. We should lobby for that, guys. I like that little bed that it has, too. I think that's pretty sweet. But here's the blade. Freaking cool. If you guys already haven't seen this blade, this is just going to be an overview, you know. I never carried it, and I don't know much about this knife because uh, I didn't really research. I just thought, hey, that looks cool. I want that. But, uh,. New blade steel for me. I mean, I have a bunch of different blade steels now. I have so many different knives with different steels. This is N680. And I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe it's an Austrian steel. Which is cool. I like stuff from Europe. I don't know. I just That's just cool. Uh, handle. G10. With this uh, special texture here. Which is actually super grippy. This is a, like... A lot of G10, you know, it'll be either, you know, more epoxy and less fi fiber or more fiber and less epoxy. And you can tell by looking at this uh, little bevel right here that they have a lot of fiber in this one. So it's more on the fibrous side. So it kind of has a, I mean, you hear, you can hear it. It's just got a, It's got almost more like a lighter, more wood-like, I don't know, feel to it. But real grippy thing I like about this, uh, or one of the things, I like a lot of things about it, but I like how it's just, it doesn't have a bunch of superfluous, uh, like, you know, I don't know, decorations. And that's one thing that I like about the spider is they're, they're not, they don't look decorated. You know, they don't have the goofy pocket clips that Kershaw has. And speaking of pocket, pocket clips, look at this one. That's a triumph right there. Perfect positioning. Deep carry. This uh, black coating here reminds me of uh, of what the um, Amersons have, so I like that a lot. But yeah, it's a rescue knife, so it's got the sheep's foot blade, which you can get in a black coating or a uh, serrated, or I think partially serrated. They might have a full serrated, I'm not sure, but I chose the plain edge satin. I just like that. Um, another really cool feature big selling point for me, I probably wouldn't have bought it otherwise, is this right here. Look at that. Benchmade has a name for this, I'm not sure what it is, but it's a, uh, it's a cutting tool that you could use to, you know, if you want to cut someone's pants off, if you're trying to, <laughs> that sounded wrong, I'm saying if you're trying to like, you know, get to their leg that's injured and you can't exactly just pull their pants off, you know, to, to assess the wound or whatever, because it would 
you know, disrupt the area. Or if you want to cut into someone's shoe, uh, you know, you can't exactly rip a boot off if someone's leg has been shattered. It would literally make them pass out from the pain. So you'd be able to cut their boot off with this without, you know, stabbing into them with a knife. You know, and it's the same thing when you're <clears throat> using it to open a, or to cut a seatbelt maybe, of someone who's trapped in a car. You'd be able to get this under the seatbelt and cut it without stabbing them. Which, you know, same thing with the sheep's foot blade. It doesn't have a puncturing tip. Speaking of the blade, man, look at that. The beautiful sanding grooves. I really like sheep's foot blades. I like, they have a, um, a uh, Chris Reeve that has a blade similar to this. It's, it's better looking than this one. But it's just a blade um, shape that I've always liked. To each his own, I guess. No jimping on the top of that blade, but that's okay. They got jimping right here. It's actually pretty good, too. The The rough G10 on there actually helps with the, the grip. Good axis lock. Came a little tight, though. You can see that. It just I need to loosen it up. It's got a... looks like the phosphor bronze bushings in there. But, yeah, man, I thought that was cool. This doesn't lock into place. It's a slip joint or something like that. But, you know, it doesn't really need to lock into place. Um, that figured out by holding it, they, they made that little um, cut-out portion of the handle there to where it would kind of correspond with this chimping portion right here. And it's, it's a good grip. Got your lanyard hole there, good enough for 550. And then a carbide glass breaking tip right there. And screw construction, you got a little, This I think this is the FRN backspacer here, but the rest is flow through. Um, I really like this knife. I think it's pretty cool looking. You know, I'm not usually into Benchmades, but uh, for some reason, this one caught my eye and uh, went ahead and picked it up. I'll be getting the orange version too, because that's what I originally wanted, but I couldn't wait, so I went ahead and got the black one. And I'm kind of glad I did. Looks really good with the black hardware. I would have bought a black blade, but I just don't like having a worn blade. I know other people are like, oh, it's cool. You know, it looks cool to have, a, you know, the worn off coating. But, eh, that's cool on fixed blades, maybe. I don't really like it on my folders. So. About a, I picked it up for it's about 150 bucks, all when all said and done, shipping and all that. So, you know... <laughs> I'm sure you can you can always find better deals out there, but I'm not really willing to order from eBay. I usually just order from a good, reputable vendor. Got it from Knife Center. Took about three days to get here, but awesome, awesome knife. We'll see how this N680 holds up. I don't. One thing I really don't like though about these Spider Co's is I'm pretty sure this is a. Um, 20 degrees inclusive edge, which, uh, well, not, I don't know if that's right. What I'm trying to say is it's, uh, it's not as steep of a, uh, of a grind as the spider coast is, so it's not really as good a, of a slicer, even though it's a pretty nice flat ground blade, but it keeps a nice thickness, and it's three and a half millimeters. Nice thickness across the whole blade. But, I don't know, I sound like an idiot when I talk about knives. <laughs> oh yeah, let me show you this goofy stuff in this magazine. Check this out. Cigarette commercials rampant back in the 80s, apparently. Got this dude jumping out of a helicopter. Like that has anything to do with cigarettes. That's for Winston's, right? Let's see here. Uh... This is one of my. This is probably my favorite one right here. Camel. Check out the dude's do and the mustache. <laughs> Where a man belongs, smoking camels. Let's see here. Uh, page twenty nine, I think. Yeah, I remember the pages because it's just so ridiculous. Check that guy out. Raleigh cigarettes. Mack trucks. Another good one right here. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I'll check you all later.